Today's best music mix. Free Radio. Hello and welcome to Swan Lane in Stoke Coventry for a very special JD's Heroes. Roisin, do you want to tell us about the nomination? Lisa Walters, she's nominated her best friend Nicola Gormley. Now, basically, Nicola has got two children that have been no stranger to University Hospital. Her, her little girl, Chloe, has got asthma. She's been admitted 450 times, which is just a ridiculous amount because she's still only very young. And then she's got Lauren as well, who has to have operations every six weeks. It's been really difficult for her over the past few years uh, and we're here this morning to do something very special. Now before they moved to Swan Lane they were living in a furnished and well adapted house to cater for the children's disabilities. Unfortunately it's not the same case here. So Lisa got in touch and asked us if our heroes could come forward and provide any furniture for the house and with help of local heroes We've done just that. So let's go inside and meet our heroes who are going to help Nicola and her family. It's like 60 minute makeover. Yeah, come on. <laughs> so welcome inside Nicola Gormley's house. Now she's out at the moment with the person that nominated her, Lisa. Lisa's other half got involved in this week's JD's Heroes. And as you can see, we have a newly decorated front room with a nice gray and yellow theme but how do we fill this space for Nicola and the kids? Roshi. Uh, well, Neil and Sarah are here this morning from Gorgeous Touch and Spawn End. Um, you've heard about this nomination and you wanted to get involved, is that right? Yeah, yeah, we uh, were put the shout out on the JD Show's Facebook page and was in contact with Tom, the producer, and we've been in talks for the last few weeks of how we can help out. All very sneaky, really. So what kind of stuff can you add to the living room? Well, we've uh, been asked to provide a couple of... Uh, two-seater suites so hopefully we'll be able to fill up the space and we've got loads of uh, gorgeous accessories to to add so um, you're going to make this living room a living room for them hopefully that's fantastic it's so 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 generous unbelievably generous to actually donate sofas and stuff that's going to make it nicer for them because it's been really really difficult for the past few years yeah this is a heartwarming story and uh, we're just very glad to be able to help oh. So you know what that means, Roche. Um, I'm going to check out the tea making facilities, mm. and you've got to go to the van and get some sofas. No, I'm not. See you later. Hang on a second. I'll make the tea. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Kids with her as well. Yeah. Oh my life, there's loads of them. There should be four. I just bought the kids and everything. Right, here we go. They're walking towards the door! <laughs> You're such a giveaway, Tom. Well, yeah, obviously, how else have I got a video just though? and they've um, provided you with a couple of sofas, some nice decorations. I don't know if you can see your girls in picture frames. Wow. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Thank you so much. 
I tell you what, sh shall I go and put the kettle on? Oh, no. I'll give you a roisin, you can tap the roisin. And we've even got cakes for the kids! <laughs> Nicola, was that a good surprise? A massive, massive, mega surprise. You had no idea your sister had nominated no, no, you. No, none whatsoever. No? No, nothing. I just can't believe it. I really can't. I'm so pleased. Thank you so much. Well, it's gorgeous touch and spawn end. They've actually come in and done the whole room for you as well. And the guys are over there if you want to say hello. Hello. Thank you very much. <laughs> You're welcome. How do you like it? Brilliant, it's so lovely. You don't like it, you love it. You love it? Yeah. Now, uh, tell me a little bit about um, Chloe and Lauren because it's not, that they've got a lot of health issues, haven't they? Yeah, it's they hard. both have. Um, Chloe was fine when she was born, and then around when she was around about three weeks old, she used to vomit loads. And um, her first Christmas, she ended up in hospital with like a real bad chest infection, which was pneumonia. And then that sort of started her sort of allergies, asthma, and then her trips to hospital over 450 times up to now. Um, and then Lolly was a twin, and then I was had a good pregnancy with them until I got to 29 weeks, and I just went into labour, basically. Um, and they were born... Jessica was only born, only lived for half an hour. Um, and they had something called twin-to-twin -twin transfusion syndrome, where Lauren was a smaller twin, but somehow it reversed itself, and she survived, and Jessica was the bigger one, but she, she just didn't make it half an hour. That was all she lasted. Um, and then Lauren's had health problems ever since. She's on operation number 47, is it, now? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and she's still got more to come. She has them all the time. One last week, and then we had, like, she had sepsis again last week, so she was <coughs> rushed off to hospital. Um, it's just a constant, really. I mean, how old is she that she's had that many operations? She'll be, she'll be 11 in July, but she just takes it in a stride. And, you know, obviously you've got... Um... <laughs> You know, she she's, has to use a wheelchair sometimes and she's yeah. got a catheter in. Is it going to get to a point where they'll be able to remove that? Because that's a huge burden no, for her. They don't think so. Um, she's Actually, she's classed as a swan child, which is like a syndrome without a name. So they don't know what is wrong with her. We don't know what her prognosis is. And, I mean, she could one day wake up and be perfectly... She might just work. Yeah, but, grow out of it yeah, in some sort of way. So what does this mean to you and your family to actually have one less thing to worry about? Absolutely fantastic because, I, well, like I said, we've moved in here since December and we've just sat on garden chairs and, you know, just got on with it because I'm like, it'll get done soon. And every time I have gone to try and decorate, one of them's ended up in hospital, so it's just never got done. We only unpacked the boxes from moving in December last week. Finished them off. Well, on behalf of the JD show and the guys that have come down from Gorgeous Touch and Spawn, and we hope you enjoy it and love it. And one less thing for you to worry about, it's Nicola. Absolutely amazing. Thank you so, so much. I really can't believe it. You're Thank welcome. You. Thank you so much. Free radio. Free radio. Today's best music mix. It's nice. <laughs>